yeah. So, um, actually, I'm not going to be using the um, Class D or Class E asteroids. I'm going to be using the medium-sized one, the Class C, because I think it's uh, big enough to start a base on, but not too um, big that it just becomes too difficult to uh, move around. Oh, and uh, as you can see, I've uh, put myself into the uh, into the uh, files. Yeah, I totally didn't uh, make myself extremely brave and, and completely intelligent. No. <laughs> Just uh, fast forward, guys. This uh, launch will be pretty boring. I'll just be doing orbital stuff. So, um, what was happening before was I was orbiting in the completely wrong direction. Usually, um, um, this is, um, true for the moon and Minimus as well. Usually they orbit in this direction, like everything orbits, like, counterclockwise. But, um, because of how this asteroid entered Kerbin's sphere of influence, it is actually orbiting clockwise not counterclockwise like the moon and Minmus. So yeah, that's kind of a problem. But um, I fixed it from last time, at least I um, corrected it before anything bad happened. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do a apoapse burn here and just extend it out to the, uh, around the periapse of this just so I can line it up better and um, yeah oh what's this yeah that seems uh, pretty good I think I'll do that actually I'll, I'll skip to um, when I'm about to encounter it, guys. Don't worry. It won't be boring. Unless you um, have a very low attention span. <laughs> In which case, go back to playing Call of Duty. <laughs> I 
Right, so I got an encounter set up with the asteroid, and um, now I'm going to start thrusting in. Whoa, 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 okay, 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 calm down. I'm sorry, Rocket, I hurt your feelings. I'm sorry. Please don't, like, break out out of control. 13 kilometers. 12 kilometers. 11 kilometers. 10. 9. 8. That 8 was a bit late. <laughs> 7. 7. Okay, do I see it yet? I don't think so. Hmm, okay. And then four kilometers. Just slow down a bit. Now we're moving like rel at relatively no speed, pretty much. So now I can start thrusting towards where it is. But this will take quite a while, so I'm going to fast forward again. And there's the asteroid right there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, seems to be uh, pretty far away, so I'll need to uh, uh, time accelerate to when I can thrust towards it. Okay, now once I get within a hundred um, meters of it, I'll slow down completely. And then I can begin maneuvering into clamp onto it. Like right now. There it is. Okay, now, what direction are we traveling? Orbit. Right. So what I need to do is, I need to line up the center of mass of the asteroid with the retrograde of the orbit in order to maximize the, um, oh god, in order to maximize the, uh, efficiency of the burn. And... Actually, what I'll do is... Whoa, God. What happened? Okay, what I'll do is... I'll transfer fuel... From... Here... To here... And I'll fill it up... Okay. And we'll do a bit more maneuvering. We need to time accelerate a bit. Right, there it is, there. And we're moving sideways relative to it, so I need to thrust forward a little bit. And where's the orbit? There it is. So... Okay, I need to slow down quite a, bun, a bit, so... I'll just uh, use RCS instead. Right, there we go! We have, um... We have officially clamped on, but I still have bit of adjustment to do. So I'm going to put this onto free pivot and um, hopefully this will work. Okay, it seems we have it perfectly lined up. Let's start this um, journey to get it back home to Kerbin.
Whoa. Okay. It seems we have an encounter with the moon. I don't know. Should we uh, pass by the moon riding a meteor? I think we should. Let's do it, guys. There's the moon right there. We're going to be orbiting it from the opposite direction. Do, do, do. There we go. Now we're above the moon. And now we're not. <laughs> right. We need to um, keep burning, so I'm going to keep doing it. Right, well, guys, I've got an asteroid uh, EFG-662 into a nearly completely circular orbit around Kerwin. Now, as you notice, I have a bunch of fuel left over. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to... Um, make this orbit as perfectly circular as I can, and also, um, hopefully change its inclination. But, um, that'll be, uh, for another time. Thank you for watching, guys, and next episode I will build up, I will, um, launch up the first parts of my new asteroid base. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next episode.